Hey everyone, Ryan here at E-Trailer. Today we're going to be checking out the line of B&W Turnover Ball Underbed Gooseneck Trailer Hitches. With these being all custom fit, be sure to use our fit guide and enter in your truck's information to make sure you're going to get the right one. Today we have it on a Silverado, but these are all going to work the same way uh, regardless of the make and model that you might have. There are quite a few manufacturers who make gooseneck trailer hitches for pickup trucks and the one that I find myself recommending time and time again is a B&W. And I say that because their products are awesome. You know, they're well built, everything fits good and just works like you'd expect it to. And if you're familiar at all with the towing world, you've probably heard of that B&W name and there's a reason for it. And that's because people have really good luck with setups like this. What's gonna separate the turnover ball kits from some of the other ones uh, is a few things really. One of them being the fact that when you're not using your hitch, you can take the ball and flip it upside down and actually store it in the hitch chair, which is pretty convenient. Uh, you know, you're not gonna have to deal with, you know, your ball rolling around in the backseat of your truck or you know, forgetting it in the garage or anything like that. You can leave it in here and it'll always stay with the truck. Uh, you know, which isn't a huge deal to some people. I think it's pretty convenient though. Something else is the bed space. So when you're not using it, this is really all you're gonna have to deal with. You know, the hitch doesn't take up a lot of space in all the different types of trucks. So you're still gonna have that full bed access. So if you need to haul lumber or parts or whatever, you're not gonna have a big hitch in here taking up taking up all the uh, all the space but uh, what I think is really cool about these particular kits is you almost get two hitches for the price of one and what I mean by that is you know we, we obviously have our, our goose ball here that we can use for our gooseneck trailer but if you ever find yourself um, getting a fifth wheel type trailer as well or maybe you have a gooseneck and you have a fifth wheel or you just wanna kinda of keep your options open, with this setup, uh, all the underbed hitches, you can actually use what's called the B&W Companion. And it's a fifth wheel head that utilizes the underbed hitch. And so that fifth wheel head will have a shank like this that'll drop into this, you lock it down, and then you get that fifth wheel. So pretty convenient, you know, you can grow into it, uh, tow multiple different trailers, so on and so forth. Uh, something else worth noting too, let's say if you don't really care about the gooseneck right, um, that's not really what you're looking to do, but you don't like the idea of having the in-bed rails, you know, your traditional rails for fifth wheels, you can always use this, get the companion, and still be able to tow your fifth wheel without having those big rails in the bed of your truck. Something that is important to think about whenever you're using a hitch like this is your bed length. You know, do you have a short bed or a long bed? And I say that in particular uh, in regards to short bed trucks, which seem to be, for the most part, more popular nowadays. Um, and it's important to think about that, and that's due to cab clearance, okay? So with the short bed, your hitch is gonna be a little closer to the cab of your truck. And so if the trailer that you're pulling happens to overhang a little bit, you need to think about that when you're making those turns, you know, you don't wanna crash the corner of your trailer into the cab of your truck. Um, with the long beds, it's not really that big of a deal. You know, shouldn't really run into too many issues there. But a couple solutions for those of you that have short beds and are concerned about that or kinda know you might run into that issue. B&W offers an offset ball, okay, that'll drop down into here and place that ball a little bit further back to buy you some more space. And if you plan on using the companion or that fifth wheel that'll drop in here, they make a fixed one, which stays put so you can use that for your long beds. And if you plan on using that set up with a short bed, they make a sliding type one. That way when you do go to make those tight turns, you can unlock the hitch, it'll slide back and give you all that extra clearance. All of the underbed hitches are going to have spring-loaded uh, safety chain openings, which are these here. So when you're not using them, they stay down flat. With the springs there, it should help prevent them from rattling. You'll still get a little bit of it, I'm sure, but it's better than nothing. And when you're ready to use them, you know, they pull up, you click your uh, safety chains to it, 
and that's really all there is to it there. So pretty convenient. And that honestly is pretty normal for a lot of the uh, hitches across the board, even by other manufacturers. For the most part, just about all the hitches are gonna have a 30,000 pound maximum gross trailer weight rating, which is gonna be the amount of weight pulling on the hitch. So that is the weight of your trailer, plus anything you might have enter on it. Now, it is a, a good idea to check the instructions uh, for your kit and your particular truck just to verify that weight capacity. And while you're at it, you know, grab your truck's owner's manual too, look in there, and make sure it can even handle that amount of weight. And you never wanna exceed uh, what the truck or the hitch is rated to pull. Since these kits are gonna be custom fit to your particular truck, everything goes together pretty smooth. And that's where the, the quality control from BMW comes into play. Uh, you really don't have to fight with this a whole lot or do crazy modifications. And that's gonna hold true for just about all the makes and models, at least that I've ran into. Uh, everything goes together really nicely. Their finish on all their hitches uh, is really nice too. It's a powder coat finish. I think it looks good and seems to hold up for quite some time. So should get quite a few years out of this, you know, before you run into any corrosion or anything along those lines. Um, compared to some of the other hitches too, other manufacturers, I like BMW's handle mechanisms. They tend to be really smooth and you don't really have to search around for the lock. You know, some of the other ones you have to kind of do one of those deals and it wants to unsnap and everything else. And that's just not the case with the BMW hitches. You, know, you don't even have to think about it. Pull it out, uh, bump it over a little bit, locks into place or unlocks. Um, and that's how the hitches got to operate. So it's really straightforward. You, know, you pull out, lock it, you can turn the ball around or uh, do what you need to do in there. And then when you're ready to tow or lock everything down, that's all there is to it. So I figure we pull into the garage here, get it up in the air and, and see how the hitch looks underneath our particular truck. And this is gonna uh, be how it looks in a lot of the situations, you know? And I feel like BMW does a really good job of keeping things as simple as possible and low profile as possible. So for uh, such a heavy duty hitch, it doesn't really take up a lot of space even underneath the truck. And I feel like because of that, that's going to allow the hitch, in most cases, to be compatible with suspension upgrades. And that's one of the big questions we run into a lot uh, when people are setting up their truck with a hitch like this. You know, am I going to be able to use uh, air springs or uh, some type of suspension enhancement? And in our case today, and in many cases that I've experienced in the past, nine times out of ten, um, the upgrades are going to be compatible with the hitch. So perfect example today, we have our, uh, our ride right, or I'm sorry, our airlift air helper springs installed in conjunction with the hitch. Um, and it's hard to speak across the board for every single make and model and every single suspension enhancement, but chances are pretty good with the B&W hitch, you'll be able to do something like this. And there's a lot of information available and out there so you can always, you know, do a little bit more research and just make sure all that stuff is going to uh, work together. So ultimately, what you're going to get with the B&W compared to some of the other hitches is just that quality. You know, I've installed a ton of these on all different types of makes and models, and it's consistent every single time. And you know, everything works like it should, goes together like it should, and it's something that you just have to kind of get your hands on. And once you do, you'll notice that you know, it definitely has an advantage, at least in my opinion, on a lot of the other types of hitches. And not to mention too, being able to take that companion, that fifth wheel if need be, and drop this thing in this, in this hitch and kind of get two for one is huge, at least to me. And uh, like I said, kind of grow into it and tow all different types of trailers. But uh, with that said, I think that'll about do it for our look at of the line of B&W custom fit underbed gooseneck trailer hitches.